everybody and a very happy Milig Monday. I haven't said that in quite a while and some of you might have already wondered where I've been and some of you might not have even noticed I've been gone and some of you might actually already know what's been going on because you either watch my live streams or you follow me on Instagram or you are a patron of mine maybe that's an option. I do talk about a lot of things over on Patreon. Now I gotta admit that I assume that only because I talk about something in my live streams or on Instagram that everyone who's interested in my music and me as a musician will hear it and that obviously is not the case so I thought I would just sit down today and briefly as quickly as I can sum up what's been going on and why I haven't uploaded a video in a couple of months. Now, I know that people love drama, so I'm just gonna say at the beginning of this video, there is no drama. I guess it's just that I've been doing this YouTube thing for over 13 years and I've been uploading Milik Mondays for, I guess, definitely over two years, maybe even three years. So I've been uploading a new video, mostly covers every single Monday for almost three years and I guess that is the problem. While lots of you see me as a cover artist and to be honest quite rightly so because I've been mostly covering songs on this channel for as long as I remember, I see myself as a singer-songwriter. I obviously also see myself as a cover artist but I'm also a singer-songwriter. I write my own songs and it's my passion. I love writing songs but there's just always been this fear in the back of my mind that with every cover I post, people would just never enjoy or appreciate original music from me as much as they enjoy my cover versions. Now, in the past, whenever I would get that feeling of, oh, I don't wanna do cover songs anymore, I would still power through. I would still power through my weekly uploads because I knew that that feeling would eventually pass, maybe not pass, but just not be as prominent in my brain anymore. And these days you really don't want to mess with an algorithm. So it's really important to upload videos regularly. So I just kept going. This year, however, the voice saying, I don't want to cover songs anymore, just kept getting louder and louder. And I knew that at some point I just had to take a break because otherwise I would have burned myself out. And I really didn't want to do that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna think about what I wanna do on this channel and if I actually wanna continue posting covers or not. Now, some of you might think it's just one cover. It's just one video a week. It really can't take that long. And I see where you're coming from, but it's actually so much more work than you would think. For me, probably the worst part of it all is choosing a song, um, especially if you've been doing this for such a long time it can be quite tricky to find the right song. I've also never covered songs just for the sake of covering songs. So I need to feel good about the song. I need to feel the song to cover it. And I've covered a lot of songs in the past. So it can be a bit tricky to find a new song that I've never covered before and that I love, especially because very often I'm not that much of a fan of the songs that are popular at the moment. So that can get really tricky for me. And once I finally find a song that I like, I have to practice it obviously, and then record, film the video, and then um, edit it, upload it, promote it. You know, it takes a lot more time than you would think. And of course it isn't the only thing I do in a week. And it would just take up so much brain capacity. As I said, I never wanted to cover just for the sake of covering. And that's how I also feel about original songs. So I wouldn't want to share an original song every single week. So I want to write songs and then I want to pick the ones that feel good to me and share those with you. My brain is a bit weird about a lot of things. And one of them being that I was always scared to miss a Melik Monday upload because I knew that once I would get out of this uploading routine, I would have a really hard time finding my way back into it. And it's kind of what happened this time around as well because originally I was planning to take a one month break and then after a month I was like, I'm not ready. And then with every day and every week that passed, I was like, well, now you gotta come back with something extraordinary, an extraordinary video or a new format or I don't know, a single. And the thing is, I do have a lot of ideas. I think that's the issue most of the time that I actually do have some ideas, but 
I'm not the one to try out new things and I don't love to fail. And with new things that you try out, you know, some things might be successful and some will not be successful. So I'd rather stick to things that I know people like. Um, but I really want to try out new things and I also want to see what you would like to see on this channel. So if you have any input, please let me know in the comments down below. Right now, I think it might be a mix of original songs, the occasional cover here and then, a new format that I want to talk about in a different video, and then maybe something completely different, like weekly vlogs or sit down videos where I just talk about something that's on my mind. Um, so something I haven't really done on this channel in the past 13 years. But yeah, you let me know what you would want to see on this channel in the comments down below. I was actually also thinking about going live twice a week instead of once a week. Right now I go live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central European time. I never stopped going live, even in my uploading break. I just love it so much. It's my favorite time of the week. And for some reason, actually there might be a reason for it. I don't mind covering songs in my live streams. I obviously really appreciate it when people request original songs as well, but Knowing that my live streams don't stay on my channel and it's not something that's going to be there for forever, it just helps me enjoy singing covers a lot more. All I can say is this break has definitely helped my creativity and my songwriting. I stopped writing songs for a very long time. I just didn't have the capacity in my brain and I always felt that pressure and that's never good for songwriting. So, um, I definitely noticed a huge difference. I do this thing now where I share a new song, um, a demo actually, on my Patreon every single month. And you know what? I would actually love to show you some snippets of the songs. I started in July with a song called Walk on Roses and it sounds a little something like this. Walk And then in August, I wrote a song called I Don't Give a Shit Anymore, and it might actually be one of my favorite songs I've ever written. It's something I try to live by, and I think I'm getting better at it. I still struggle sometimes, but some days I'm really good at it. That I don't give a shit anymore, cause you don't shit you know. Last month I wrote a song called Usually It Hurts, it's a piano ballad and I had a cello player record some live cello for it and I love it. So we just sit and can't escape from, escape from me. for the October demo and if you would like to hear the full versions of these songs or if you want to learn more about the meaning behind each one of them then I'll leave a link to Patreon in the info box below. Um, basically how Patreon works is there are different levels of support that you can choose from and with each level of support there come different benefits so um, the lowest tier is behind the scenes footage then um, for $5, you get the Patreon demo. For $10, you get a monthly Zoom call, which I love, because <laughs> I just get to talk about what's on my mind and I get that instant feedback from people that I know really care about me and my music. So um, that's really, really lovely. And there are different tiers and different benefits, but I'll leave a link down below so you can go check it out. And if you can't support me financially, no worries whatsoever. There are different ways that you can support me that don't cost you a penny, but a little bit of your time just a tiny bit of your time. So you can subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. You can like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps so much. Imagine everyone who saw this video gave this video a thumbs up. It would make such a difference. 
let's try it out. Honestly, it is so, so helpful for any kind of creator, but especially if you're an independent musician like I am, I don't have a label. You are my label. You know, you are my supporters and without your help, I can't do this. Also, people don't like writing comments anymore these days. So you could also write a comment that also helps so much. Um, let's say you could, if you made it to the end of this video, you could post a potato emoji in the comments or whatever, whatever you want to post. <laughs> you can just write me a nice comment or give me some input, what you would like to see on this channel. Just something. It could also just be a heart. Something, whatever it is, but every comment helps so, so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see what's to come on this channel. And uh, I really hope to see you very soon. Hopefully next Monday. Bye.